30 k's up the dart this morning was interesting. Hey, it's a braided river, it was very clean for a change, but you still had to navigate your way through it. Roger Preston had an issue. And got a wee bit missed mother there, we hadn't pre-boated the right hand side of the river going up, we were trying to get to the left, but we missed the chute and, and it just dragged us over to the right and um, we just clipped a, a fan, we went to shoot up to the left, flipped the fan and it just straightened us up and, and we went across about three other fans and, and never hooked up again so we ended up running the ground. Ben Baxter was another one that had issues. Ben got to the bottom, he needed another toe to get to the finish line. Uh, same problem as yesterday, started uh, smoking from the unit again, so something more is going on than just a failed bearing, I guess. One thing about John Derry is he's been consistent. He had a little bit of a slow run on day one, but every day he's been clean, had no issues, started every day, stopped every day with a clean run. He hasn't been fast, he doesn't need to be. He's just been pacing himself, and clearly he's gonna win this by quite a big margin. After 25 years of not driving a boat, You've got Mike Pauley who's extremely good, like he's been consistent every day and he's actually had no DNFs, he's been for an overall and you have to say the way he boats the rivers is absolutely fantastic. No, it's been a good week actually, we've uh, pulled together as a good crew and a few young fellas on board and lots of energy and no, it's been pretty trouble free so far but still one to go. And of course down the field a bit there's been great battles with Nick Sullivan and Justin Hill. Antonio Lachlan had another problem today. He was forced down a channel, which he shouldn't have been in, and had a grounding. I thought it was a nice short trip, but it wasn't short, it was quite long. We got just about to the end and fell in the deep water, but we had a, probably a metre push to get it back in the water and take off again. We're not playing for the Gold Cup, we're just having a lot of fun. Always wasting money, really. So this is the final leg starting this afternoon in downtown Queenstown, which is great because there's lots of tourists here to see it. They start at one minute intervals this time. Across the lake, down the Kawara, into the shot over. few minutes and then come back down. Of course they have to stop the tour boats running when that happens because there's really only one way traffic there. But that will be interesting. If you hit something through that gorge, it will not be ground. Those rocks are clearly attached to New Zealand. 